Good evening, Crossroads Farm. It's good to be with you again for another nighttime prayer. And I just wanted to read from the book of James, chapter 5, verse 16. And it says, Therefore, confess your sin to one another and pray for one another, that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power in its working. And I want you to hear two things tonight. The first thing is that your prayers have great power. They mean so much. And it's actually what God intended was for us to go before him with requests and different things to bring before him because he wants us to participate in his work. And that's the privilege that you're going to get tonight if you join me in prayer. It actually goes on to say in, in the next couple of verses, it talks about a man named Elijah who has some stories in the Old Testament uh, which had some crazy stories about prayer. One of them being when he called fire down from heaven. The one that it references here is he actually co convinced God to stop the rain and then start it again at a later date. And we just see these powerful words of prayer that Elijah did in the Old Testament. And then we're reminded of them here in this verse. But the second thing that I want you to hear ties into the first. And the second thing is that it's the prayers of a righteous person that has great power. But you may say, I don't know if I'm righteous. And the way that you know that you're righteous is if you've been able to confess your sin before God and you're willing to let him be the Lord of your life. If you have not done that, then please take the time to do that tonight. Ask God to be the Lord of your life. Confess your sin before him. And then your prayers will be made powerful. If you've already professed Christ, then please join me tonight in prayers that are powerful before God. I am asking. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for everything. Thank you for these nightly prayers. Thank you that you are always open to hear our confessions. Our sins can't go away if we don't bring them into the light. Help us to confess our sins to each other and you. Prayer is so powerful and effective, just like the verse says. Thank you that you hear our every word and our every cry, even if we don't have the words to say. Help us to be confident in our prayers. Help us to know and remember that you are always here and that you already know what we need to confess. All we need to do is bring those things into the light so you can put them as far as the east is from the west. Lord, help us to be willing to you. We are all meant to be righteous. That's what you want. I ask that you be with and help those who aren't yet righteous. Forgive them and give them that first and final push. Help them to confess their sins to you so that they can be healed. You're so good. Thank you for everything. I pray all these things in your name. Amen.